key to this is a few things. I wanna show you guys how to eat. I wanna show you guys how to eat cheap. And I wanna show you guys how to prep your food for when you're not gonna be at home or you have to go somewhere and you gotta pack a bunch of meals. Hostile Nation, what's going on? We are back for another installment of my vlog, but this time we're gonna do something a little different. We're gonna vlog, but I'm gonna give you some information. The last time I shot a video, did a carb cycling video, I got a lot of comments about it, a lot of questions about it. Things were discussed like, oh, how can I afford to eat like this? How much carbs do I eat? How do I do all this stuff? And there was just so many secondary questions that I felt like I had to do a part two, so I'm gonna do it within a vlog. I just finished my cardio. We gotta do the cardio every day or else we're gonna be fat motherfuckers. So, got the cardio done. I'm gonna hit the grocery store now and I'm gonna show you guys budget shopping. I'm gonna show you guys how to get huge on like two bucks a meal. That's the best I can do. Let's get to the grocery store. Let's get our cart full and figure out what we're gonna eat for today. And when we get home, we'll put it all together. And normally you guys know I would be at my, my favorite grocery store, Costco, but because today we're working on a budget, we are at Food Basics for some cheaper stuff. All right, this one's pretty simple. We need, definitely need a carb source. We need a good starchy carb. Potatoes are one of the cheapest, so we're gonna go with some potatoes for sure. We get a five pound bag. One of the best ways to save money is probably grab a whole chicken. I know a lot of people don't do that. They go right for the chicken breast, but we're gonna grab a whole chicken. That's gonna be like four meals for today. And this whole chicken, is, these four meals are gonna be nine bucks. People always avoid bread. I don't think it's the best source, but if you're bulking and you're on a budget, this you can't go wrong with this. Look at this. This is a dollar sixty-five for this whole loaf of bread. One of the things I used to eat a lot when I was coming up, uh, kind of for a treat, but also because it was cheap, is rice cakes. These are three for five bucks. There's quite a bit of carb carbs there and five bucks. So we'll grab these three packs. One of the cheapest things you can eat, pasta, right? So we're gonna go with this jar of ragu for 99 cents. We're gonna grab a couple of these. These are 99 cents each. You get a good dose of carbs out of this pasta. It's actually kind of enjoyable to eat. Okay, one of the best foods you can get for bulking is probably eggs. So we can't, we can't go without them and they're actually not that expensive. You can get the cheap stuff for 264 for a large pack of eggs. Tuna's like anything else. It can range from a buck 69 all the way to, you know, 550 for a can. But because we're working on a budget, we got some <coughs> flaked white tuna here for a buck 69. So this is our balance, 34.25. So we just finished our shopping trip. The $34 won't all be spent today, but we're gonna break it down by meal. I'm gonna show you guys how cheap it is to actually eat like a bodybuilder. Today I decided I'm gonna show you guys how to eat and bulk and get huge on the cheapest amount of food possible. And after we're done preparing all this stuff, we're gonna go over to the whiteboard and I'm gonna show you guys, I'm gonna break down all the numbers, exactly the macros for each of the meals and how much each meal costs. That way you guys know exactly what you're spending, exactly what you're eating, and you guys can figure out kinda of to do it for yourself. Now the example I have set up on the whiteboard, we're gonna make enough food for a 200 pound male that's bulking, that's around 12% body fat. But let's start cooking. So we're gonna start this first because it's gonna take the longest to cook. I'm cooking bodybuilder style. This is just to get the food cooked, edible, and in my system so I can keep growing, okay? We're just gonna spray the pan a little bit. We got a cookie sheet with some uh, aluminum foil on it. I'm gonna spray it down so the chicken don't stick. Okay, so very simple. All we're gonna do is just, we're just gonna coat it with some seasoning, okay? Start with the salt. We're gonna be a little liberal with it. Some garlic powder some black pepper, and then after the black pepper, I always like a little bit of color on my chicken, so we're gonna use a little bit of paprika just to give it that roast red color after it comes out of the oven. Almost like a rub, okay. And I don't think bodybuilders really make use of uh, whole chickens enough. It's really cheap to buy a whole chicken, and I don't think a lot of people make the connection. You save yourself a ton of money. It's probably gonna take about 40 minutes. While that's cooking, we're gonna get our pasta ready. Regular white pasta, okay? This is cheap, easy to cook, easy to eat. If you have trouble gaining weight, 
this is the way to go. We're gonna go with 180 grams of pasta because we're gonna use this for two meals, okay? And we're gonna boil some eggs. So we're gonna do uh, boiled eggs because it's easier, they're easier to pack. We're gonna do six whole eggs, take about 15 minutes to boil the eggs. Bread, extremely cheap. Bread is not the best carb. You're not gonna find it in a lot of pro bodybuilders diets. The reason I don't do bread is because you're trying to keep the diet as pure as possible. So when you go with a potato, it's one ingredient, it's potato. You go with rice, it's one ingredient, it's rice. When you go with bread, you're adding a whole bunch of other ingredients. Okay, so we're gonna take out eight slices because we're gonna use bread for a couple of meals today. We're gonna do this in the smart oven because I can do all eight slices at once. I'm gonna throw those in there and we got tuna. You can get this cheap flake light tuna in water. Uh, this was $1.69. I used to do the electric can openers for so long and they would always break. So I would go with the manual ones just Old reliable. This is all I ate when I was coming up, man. Okay, we're gonna do some mayonnaise because we're bulking and it doesn't matter, right? So that's it. I'm just gonna mash it up. Cheap, easy source of protein. Then we need some potatoes. Now I'm just gonna do these in the microwave. Okay, so we got four potatoes, four minutes per potato, okay? I got four potatoes here. I'm not gonna need 16 minutes, but I'll probably need at least 12. All right, so one of the things you're gonna notice is there's not a lot of food here. This is one of the things that I run into with clients the most is they want more variety. When you're preparing food, the easiest thing to do is eat the same shit. If you wanna have a different meal six times a day, it just means more prep time for you. I try and just keep it simple. So that's what we're doing today. We're keeping the diet simple. We're, we're gonna combine some meals and then we're gonna repeat them. To, to make up our six. Toast is finished. First thing we're gonna do is put aside four slices for our breakfast. Our breakfast is gonna be our eggs and our toast. Now this meal, we're gonna do our tuna and toast. Pretty simple, mash up the tuna with some mayo. The objective here is just to get you big. You get the calories in you need, the macronutrients that you need, and it's gonna start you on the process of learning how to eat. So this, another meal, is done. You can probably use a better Tupperware container for this. I'm gonna kind of mush these down. <laughs> another meal down. Okay, the eggs are done. Just gonna cool them off and then peel them. I don't wanna pack wet eggs, right? Because I got my toast in there and my toast is gonna get all soggy and gross. So we're just gonna set a napkin out, put the eggs on there after they're peeled, let them dry for a second. So I got my eggs peeled. I'm just gonna dry them up real quick. Actually take the entire napkin and I'm gonna throw it into the Tupperware. Another meal, done. So we strained the pasta, we added the pasta sauce. We measured out one cup of pasta sauce. We added to our noodles. Okay, these are measured out in 180 grams. So we're gonna do 90 grams per meal. So now we got our pasta ready. We got our potatoes ready. We got two other meals that are completely finished. Okay guys, so our chicken's done. The alarm's going off. We're gonna take it out of the oven, see if it's all done, and then we're gonna piece it out. After about 45 minutes, it's nice and cooked. It's got a good color. It actually looks really good and I'm ready to eat. So we're gonna divvy it up amongst these four meals. So we're gonna take the chicken breast out and we're gonna take the thigh and the drumstick out. The turkey breast are about six ounces each. We're gonna take that off and we're gonna do chicken breast and potato. So that's one meal, chicken breast and potato. The drumstick and we have the thigh. So we'll put the thigh meat in there. Okay, so now we take the other half and we're gonna just take the chicken breast off just like we did in the last meal. We're gonna do our chicken breast and potato. Chicken breast and potato meal done and finally we're just going to take the thigh meat off drumstick okay guys so after the chicken is all separated and pieced out into each meal we have all our food done now so we have two pasta and dark meat chicken meals we have two potato and chicken breast meals we have an egg and uh, wheat bread and we have two tuna sandwiches on wheat bread we're gonna head over to the whiteboard and I'm gonna show you guys how much each meal costs and how much you're spending for the day, for the week, for the month, just so you guys know how easy it really is. All right, guys, so we cooked all the food, prepped everything, got everything ready, packed in Tupperwares, ready for the next day. But the most important part of this video is how much does it cost? And we're bulking on a budget, so what is our budget? So I'm gonna show you guys the macros that make up those meals, so you guys know how much you're getting, how much food you're eating, and I'm gonna show you uh, how much it costs, okay? Now, first thing we're gonna start with is, this is based on a 200 pound male, okay? 200, 200 pound male, 12% body fat, that's kind of what we're basing it on. So what I did here was we're looking for 300 grams of protein, and what that is is it's 1.5 grams per pound. Now, some people will say, well, you only need a gram per pound. I don't agree with that. I made my best gains at 1.5. 
even up to two grams per pound. Now two grams per pound is, is pretty extreme, but I think 1.5 is a good, is a happy medium. I think one is maintenance. I don't think, feel like it's enough to really grow. I've noticed significant strength differences when I've uh, increased my protein more so. So, and I've actually talked to a number of other pros that kind of feel that same thing. So um, I'm gonna go with the 1.5 number. If you wanna do one gram, that's fine. That's totally up to you. So the carbs, we have 400 grams. And what I did was two grams per pound. You can go all the way up to three. You can go down to one. Now in our previous video, if you haven't watched it, check it out. And we talked about carb cycling. And a lot of you asked, how do I know how many carbs to start with? The traditional number to start for a bulk for carbs is two to three grams per pound. Two being the lower one, so we're going 400 grams. Now, if you're doing a high, medium, low day, what you can do is you can go to three grams per pound on your high day, making it 600 grams. You can go two grams on your medium day, and you can go one gram on your low day. And then that will give you a good way to, good way to kind of figure it out. But you can play with those numbers whichever way you like. It's just one idea of uh, one example of how you could do it. Um, but we're gonna go with two grams for our standard daily diet. Okay, and then for fats, we're gonna go with 0.35 grams per pound. So we're gonna end up with 70 grams of fat per day uh, because we're using the 0.35 grams per pound. And again, if you're carb cycling, if you watched the last video, the way the numbers crisscross, the fats go up and the carbs go down, this number is gonna change. But if you're doing this as a daily diet, these are kind of some good numbers to start with and see how your body responds from there. If you start getting too fat, you feel like you're getting too watery, you're gonna reduce all these numbers a little bit or maybe just reduce your carbs a little bit, but you can play with it as you go and figure it out. Okay, so let's get into the macro numbers and the food costs, okay? So we start with meal one, and meal one was six whole eggs and four slices of toast. So after doing the math, I got the receipt, pulled out the receipt, figured out how much, how much each egg costs and each slice of bread costs. You're looking at $1.32 for six whole eggs, and then you're looking at 36 cents for the bread. So that brings us to a total of $1.68 for breakfast. What that's gonna give us is 700 calories, 723 calories, 46 grams of protein, 51 grams of carbs, and 36 grams of fat. That's your breakfast, okay? Remember, this is a bulking diet. We want the calories. There's no point in bulking on a budget if it's just budget and we're not bulking. So we got 700 calories here. It's a good use of those calories, okay? We're gonna to go to meal two. Meal two was the chicken thigh. It's $1.14. The chicken thigh and the drumstick together are $2.28, but individually, $1.14, $1.14. And then we had 180 grams of pasta, which was two servings out of that dollar, that 99 cent bag. So those two servings are 40 cents. Then we add half a cup of pasta sauce, half a cup, 20 cents. Your total for that meal, $2.88. 1,200 calories, we have 87 grams of protein, 142 grams of carbs, 33 grams of fat, and again, it's $2.80. That's the most calorie-dense meal of the day, okay? And you're gonna do it twice, okay? So then we move on to meal three. So we have six ounces of chicken breast here, $2.27, and we have eight ounces of baked potato is 30 cents, okay? So that's it, just chicken breast and potato. I probably use that for my pre-workout meal. It's, very gonna, it's gonna be easy to digest, white meat chicken, very low in fat. Your potato is simple to digest. So this is pretty easy. The totals for this meal, 383 calories, 45 grams of protein, 49 grams of carbs, 2.3 grams of fat, and only $2.57. So we still haven't gone over three bucks, okay? You're getting huge for under $3. So from there, we're gonna to go to meal four, five, and six. Now, like we said, we wanna keep things simple. So what do we do? Meal four, we're just gonna repeat meal three because this is our post-workout meal. Remember, we said, it would make sense if this was our pre-workout meal, right? So then post-workout meal, we're just gonna eat the same meal. And why are we gonna eat the same meal? Because we don't want a lot of fats post-workout. A lot of post-workout, we want stuff that's gonna be quick digesting. So we're gonna do the other chicken breast and another eight ounces of potato. So we're just gonna repeat this meal when we get home. Again, keeping it simple, meal five, what are we gonna do? We're gonna repeat meal two. So we're gonna take that other quarter chicken dinner that's left from the chicken and we're gonna repeat it here, again, with another 180 grams of pasta. So when you're packing your meals, very simple. All we did was take one chicken and cut it into four. Two breasts, two quarter chickens. That's four meals down. That's how easy your prep could be, right? And then the, the pasta is very simple too. You're gonna to boil it all in one pot and mix it up with some pasta sauce. That's two meals right there. The potatoes, we cooked in the microwave, in and out, simple. 
took 10 minutes. And then the bread, all we did was toast the bread and boil the eggs. The whole thing took an hour and it only took an hour because the chicken had to bake in the oven. This is gonna be good for meal five because a lot of people like to snack at night, but if you're gonna pound back 1200 calories in a meal, you're probably not gonna be looking for a snack. You're probably gonna be pretty full. But we still have one more, one more meal to get in and we're gonna make it smaller because you're gonna be full and we're gonna make it easy to eat. And that's why we put a sandwich before bed. So what I did was, meal six is one can of tuna. The one can of tuna costs us $1.69. Four slices of toast, again, 36 cents. Remember from our breakfast. So our totals, 450 calories, 50 grams of protein, 40 grams of carbs, six grams of fat, $2.05, okay? And it was all simple because this can of tuna, all we did was open it with a can opener and then the slices of bread, we put those in the toaster, cooked them all at once. So we had eight slices of toast ready and we just prepped all that shit, throw it in a bag and you're gone for the day, okay? That's how it works. That's how simple it is. Now, what does that work out to? Your final calories for the day, 3542. Protein count is 310. Your carb count is 406. And your fats are 77. Okay, so these are our totals for the day. And when we look at what we laid out, we're very close. Okay, so we were able to put together a diet that almost hits our macros exactly with foods that are easy to prepare, easy to eat, and are gonna help us bulk. Okay, so this is it. So this is your totals. Now this is what you're spending per day. The entire diet costs you $14.63 for the day, $102.41 for the week, and $409.64 for the month. Those of you out there that are watching that wanna be competitive bodybuilders, either on an amateur stage or eventually one day get to the pro stage, if you can't afford to put $400 a month aside to eat, you're probably not gonna make it to the level unless you're a genetic phenom and your body grows without the right amount of food. Uh, most of us need to get the right amount of calories in if we're gonna reach a certain point. If you can't afford the $400 a month, maybe bodybuilding is just a hobby for you and it's not a competitive thing until your finances get in, in, in order. Now, like we talked about, these are Canadian prices. So if you're in the States, this is gonna seem really expensive, but remember your money's like half, uh, one and a half times ours. So uh, your prices are gonna be very different, but you can do the math and figure it out. And plus this diet alone, We'll give you an idea of what you're going to be spending. So, okay, guys, that's it. Long video, I know, but I wanted to show you guys, you know, the grocery store, the prep, the setup, and how it's all done. That way you guys have all the information you need. Now, if you have other questions, leave them in the comments section. If they're coaching questions, go to my page, fuadabiad.com, sign up for coaching. If you want to support the channel, if you want to support me, subscribe, like, share with your friends. Check out Hostile.com for any new merchandise we got coming along. And the Hostile Supplements launch is coming in the next month or so. Now, if you want to be uh, there for pre-orders when they, when they open up, go to at Hostile Supps on Instagram. It's H-O-S-S-T-I-L-E Supps. And check us out there. Follow the page. And... Um, Pre-orders will be available for you guys. We'll let you guys know when, when it's open and ready for you guys to buy them. Um, until next time, guys, I hope that's all the information you guys need to set up your diets. I gave you everything I got. Until next time, guys, train your asses off. Keep things simple. Get your meals in. Just stay consistent every day and keep getting huge, all right? We'll see you guys next time.